Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, somebody can't stop thinking about you, but I feel, you know, here's the thing. I feel like there's several people coming towards you, okay? There's somebody from your past coming towards you who's in a lot of regret. I'm I'm feeling like that's, uh, you know, honestly, I feel like it, this is your energy, this hermit. Um, you kind of want to be left alone. You're a runner now, and you're about to be chased, okay? This is you running, right? Taking that cup of love and running clear off your spread. Kind of wanting to be alone. Um, you don't want people messing with you. I feel like you can intuitively feel or energetically feel that people are going to start chasing you. And it may be, I don't know, it's almost like you're trying to avoid it. Okay, now may not be a good time for you to be chased right now. I feel like you're resting, rejuvenating, um, maybe even you're doing a lot of deep thinking here. It could be self-reflecting on the things you've been through in the past. And right now, you're not in the mood to be chased, but you're going to be. There's possibly three people coming towards you. Somebody who wants to apologize, who's turned their back on you in the past, okay? Somebody new here with this couple love and somebody else. I feel like this is someone else altogether, too. So I'm, I'm getting that you're, um, oof. you're, yeah, your people are about to be chasing after you. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Virgo. In the past, you could have possibly been dealing with the Pisces, but not necessarily. I'm getting the sense that you're protecting yourself, collective. I feel like you're in this uh, King of Swords energy, Empress energy. Here's the thing. It's contradictory, okay? Right now, without even realizing it, you're attracting the attention of so many people, okay? You don't even know that you're doing it. I feel like you're keeping to yourself, okay? You're putting love and focus into you and your future. Um, and I, you know, I'm getting this humble energy off of you. Like you're not, you're not trying to attract attention to yourself. Oh, no, but you are. Um, you can't help it. I'm hearing, girl can't help it. The girl can't help it. <laughs> I got to hear that song. I'm going to have to listen to the lyrics because, yeah, I feel like you can't help but be fabulous. You can't help but attract people to you. You can't help but be ab absolutely magnetic. I keep hearing, the girl can't help it. She can't help it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who does that song, you guys. <laughs> Please drop a comment if you know who does that, okay? But you're attracting people to you like a magnet, okay? And, um, and at the same time, you're kind of protecting yourself. I feel like you're protecting yourself here. You know, um, and it is, you're like a contradiction, you know, um, a part of you is like, who's going to, who's man enough or who's woman enough to, uh, to take this cup? Who, is there anyone worthy for this cup, right? See how you're holding this cup out? Is there anyone worthy of this cup, you know, but yet at the same time, you've, you've grown accustomed to being alone or you just don't want to deal with people right now. Like, that's the feeling I'm getting off of you. You just don't want to deal with people right now. You know, one part of you is attracting people to you, and the other part of you is, like, protecting yourself. So, yeah, it's, it's odd energy. And I feel like it, it's all because you can intuitively sense that you're about to be chased like crazy, okay? <laughs> you're literally everybody's wish. You are everybody's dream person, dream girl. Take it how it resonates, dream man, whatever. Take it how it resonates, right? And I feel like um, all of these people, there's three of them at least, I feel. Three, maybe four. There's another one coming in, but this one's a player. 
So, yeah. And so far, I feel like there's three people that you are not even going to consider as an option. But there is one that will stand out above the rest. Okay, that's this one here, the Six of Wands energy guy. Girl, take it how it resonates. Uh, but this person is somebody who's been through a battle, learned their lessons. They've got their act together. They've got their ish together. And they're... Um, they're having a victory in life. They could be in the public eye, being celebrated by other people, maybe even encouraged by others. I feel like this is the one that you may give another chance to. The rest of these people, nah, no, they're not up to your speed, okay? They're not vibing at your same level. You're in empress energy, and these people are knights and a page. We've got a player here that just is like hot and heavy for you. This is somebody that um, has a lot of secrets, a lot to hide. You're not going to choose this person. You're going to see right through their red flags. You've got this person up here. This is somebody new, I feel, coming in with empty promises. You're going to see through this person as well. They may even want to take things pretty quickly with you, give you all kinds of promises, right? Um, no, you're not taking that one. And then there's this one from your past who's in a whole lot of regret because they chose everybody else over you. You were like, I just feel like you were the, you didn't get any attention from this person. Yeah, I was going to say you were the last person to get this, to get their attention, but you didn't get anything from them. This person's coming in to apologize, but they're coming in as a page to an empress. They're not going to cut it either. The only one of these options that stands out above the others is this guy right here. Gr guy, girl, take it how it resonates. Okay, this person stands out above the others. If anybody has a chance with you, I feel like it's that person. Otherwise, you're really, you know, I feel like you're... Right now, it just feels like you don't want to focus on love. Okay? But everybody else is focused on you. All of these people are watching you. Okay? I, you know, honestly, hands down, collective, you're an empress energy, and the second you walk into a room, you're turning heads. Okay? For real. You're, there's no way that people are not going to be attracted to you in this kind of energy. Do you know how sexy it is when you're independent and abundant and balanced and every queen in the deck? You had to learn every queen in the deck here. And people are finding that so sexy. They want you. You're everybody's wish. But not everybody, like, not everyone is for you. You know, maybe that's why you just kind of want to keep to yourself because you're starting to, um, people are starting to approach you now. You know, they're wanting to date you or they're wanting to play with you or whatever it is. You're, I mean, everyone is going to be tempted by you, okay? Um, but yet at the same time, some of these people don't deserve your attention. They don't deserve it. There's two people at least right here that have bad intentions for you. This one from your past, I'm not even sure about yet. Okay. So right now, um, it may just be overwhelming for you. You know, you may just want to isolate yourself because it's becoming too much. You're being approached by all of these people all at once. Boom, 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 one right after another. Your phone's blowing up. People are commenting, trying to, like, you know, flirt with you and stuff. It's overwhelming. So, you know, I feel like you're taking a break from it, maybe. Doing some self-reflection. Possibly, I don't know, making some kind of judgment. Somebody's making a judgment call here. They want to get back together. I feel like this is your person from your past. I, you know, honestly, I wasn't expecting to see this many people coming out of the woodwork, but yeah, 
Look at how everything is attracted right to you, the Empress. Okay? Yeah, everybody wants this chance at love with you. Especially this person from your past, see, because they've already got a feel um, of your love, right? They, um, they can still feel that energy that this, you're somebody they can't forget. You know, this is um, really eating away at them little by little. So I feel like this person who has experienced your love, right, um, they want you back so bad. That person may want to even commit to you. And I feel like, you know, um, for an empress, that's, that's what you're going to require, is somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated, okay? Loyal, dedicated, honest. They must have integrity. They must have courage. They must be a go-getter. They have to be motivated, okay? They've got to be able to build and work with you. And stand at your side and give you mutual respect and consideration. That's what you want here. And you're not going to settle for anything less. You know, that could be why judgment is here. This is the judgment call you're making. You, you're a high value individual and you deserve, um, you deserve a love that's going to, that you can, you know, that's dependable. Um, you're, you're independent, but you don't want someone to be disappointing you. You don't want somebody to be using you and mistreating you. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe Taurus, Aries. You want somebody who's going to work on things with you, not fight against you. Okay? You want a true soulmate who's going to be at your side, not someone who's going to put you out in the cold. So you're holding out for the right one for you. You know, you're thinking logically and you're, you know what, um, you know what's good for you, basically. Okay, what's good for you and what isn't good for you. Yeah, anybody who manipulates See, this is what you've had to experience in the past before, though. You've experienced people manipulating you, giving you empty promises, using you, giving you fake apologies, turning their back on you, booting you out in the cold, causing chaos and drama. You've experienced all of that. Now you're ready for love and commitment. You've experienced everything else. You've learned your lessons from everything else. Now you're ready for real love and commitment and dedication. Okay? And that's, uh, you're not going to settle for anything less than that. So, you know, I feel like the only, you've got, you've got one, two, three, four options here. Okay? The only one out of all of these people that may meet these requirements is this person here, the Six of Wands, I'm telling you. You know, other than that, love is, it may stress you out right now, you know, after everything that you've been through. But you're definitely, you've got your boundaries up, you've got your standards set. And um, you're not going to be bending on that. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody coming forward. Could be a possible fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's this person here. You know, I feel like this person is fun. They're charismatic. They're very well liked in their community. They're an excellent communicator because people genuinely love to listen to this person, okay? They love the stories. They love the laughter. This person is exciting active, a go-getter, okay? I feel like this is this new person coming in, possibly, but with everybody that you're attracting, it could even be somebody else altogether, you know? 
But yeah, um, somebody sees you as the one or will see you as the one for them. The, this is wifey energy. I feel like you're not going to be single for much longer. Ooh, somebody has the hots for you. Um, you're about to get together with somebody, and this is going to be a very fiery, passionate relationship. Wow, wow, right? Yes, ultimate wish fulfillment. Look at this. Yes, and happiness. Okay, so this is the, yep, and you're ready for this, collective. You're ready for this. And this is somebody who's also going to be, com like, very committal. They're going to commit. Okay, they're going to be dedicated, loyal. You could be a Virgo, Leo, Taurus, uh, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this new person coming in, this one, the Six of Wands, this is going to be your wish fulfillment. And this person is extremely good looking, very sexy, um, adventurous, right? Um, I, I want to, they're just, they're, they're feisty, they're passionate, they go after what they want. Okay, there's a lot of great things to say about the King of Wands. I got to say, I think they're the coolest king. <laughs> I do. They're just cool. Okay, this is somebody, you know what I mean? This is someone that you can hang out with, joke around with, but gives you passionate, passionate love. Okay, um, I feel like it's you're going to play like your best friends and you're going to love like you're on fire, you know? And it's going to be wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. This is what you're ready for. This is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay? So, yeah, one of these people, yeah, yeah I'm hearing uh, one of these things is not like the other. Um, what is that from Sesame Street? One of these people are not like the others. They're going to stand out. You know what's going to be cool about this connection is, you know, this is, the, you two are going to jive really well. You're, you may be a homebody, very responsible, very, um, you know, only focused on the home, the children, the finances. Okay, at this King of Wands, they're going to want you to broaden your horizons. They're going to want you to have some fun, you know. Have some fun. Put the work down and have some fun. And you're going to help this King of Wands because you're going to be that stabilizing um, factor in this. Okay? Um, you're, you know, only you will be able to kind of tame this person. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're going to be their voice of reason, and they're going to be your outlet for fun and, and adventure. You guys are going to jive really well together. Do you see what I mean? So, yeah, this is why you're going to be happy. You're going to both create that balance in each other that's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's this dude, okay? All these others here, it's one row of people that you're going to be... I feel like rejecting for this one, you know, and but this one is going to lead to a lot of happiness, laughter, awesome memories, moments you will never forget, and a whole lot of passion and love and happiness, okay? Oh, collective, that's wonderful. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for you. Congratulations. Yeah, th these new people are coming in. And, you know, also, too, I can see how this makes sense. Because here you are in hermit energy, right? Just wanting to be left alone, okay, after everything that you've been through. Okay, this king of wands, I'm telling you, out of all of the kings and all of these people coming towards you, no one's going to open, open you up like the king of wands. This is somebody who will kind of talk you into doing silly, goofy things, okay? And I feel like they're going to convince you to give this a try. All right? 
You may not want to right now, but when this person steps into your life, it's going to be a whole other story. Okay? A whole new story. And this brings in your tight look. This is your Ace of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles, and your Ten of Cups. Boom! There it is. Oh, I love this. Okay, so what else can you show me? This is like really a, a really good match. Okay, oh, I thought I was going to catch that one and I didn't. Yep, a new opportunity. I feel like this person is going to kind of sweep you off your feet. All right? It's going to be one of those, like, comedy romance movies. <laughs> you know? One of those funny kind of, um, where you get to know each other and it's kind of funny and he makes you laugh and there's, like, you know, goofy things that happen, but you fall passionately in love. Yeah, and you're going to be letting go of anything that is no longer for you. Um, you're going to be remaining balanced and you're going to be um, using your discernment with everyone who comes towards you. There's going to be a lot of people that are not going to get a chance with an empress. Okay, and I feel like you're, you're moving on, especially from past relationships, okay? And here comes this feisty, fiery fire sign. I'm telling you, this king of wands. This is somebody who's going to go the distance with you. This is somebody who um, is gonna, you're going to have long term with. Okay? Yeah. So get ready, collective. Ooh. This is such a good couple, you guys. I, and, you know, I've never really um, dove in deep with this kind of pairing here, but it is true. They're going to, they're going to, um, they're going to bring on a fire in you, maybe, that you haven't felt in a long time, especially for new things and fun things, and you're going to be that grounding force for them, you know, um, that voice of reason. I just, I absolutely love this, you guys. This is a perfect couple to me. It is. 